so holiday season it's kind of wrapping up a little bit of sympathy for our people in retail who have to deal with us holiday shoppers because I have worked in retail in quite a few different places um, some long term some short term some very short term um, because retail is not for me um, and the holiday season is the absolute worst sorry y'all y'all keep seeing me pausing it's like foggy as heck and so I'm driving slow and very careful but I'm also making sure that I'm taking note of the things in front of me that seem to come out of nowhere but shopping during the holiday season is terrible we all hate it but we all seem to end up having to do it at some point in time we have to go out shopping when the malls are crowded even though you can buy everything humanly possible on Amazon and stuff but some stuff you just want to get personally or you know you can't find what you need on Amazon because it's sold out because it's the holiday season or whatever your case may be or you just don't get on the internet to shop at all you just like to go to the store so everyone ends up in these stores in the holiday season um what we don't I think take into account is the retail employees who have to be there every day not just the holiday season during the regular season and they're just as frantic and frustrated as you because they're working retail. They still got to find their Christmas presents and do their stuff while working with y'all. So they're dealing with their own shopping and your shopping. And everybody's frustrated and everything is on 10 just because the lines are long. There's nowhere to park. Everywhere is crowded. And you're trying to buy all this stuff for people who may or may not even appreciate it. So when you go into the stores, you got whatever attitude on you that from before you left the house, you yeah, had a fight with your boyfriend or the kids or husband or whatever case may be, or you just didn't feel like getting up and you put yourself in a bad mood and make yourself get up and go out. Anyway, so you got attitude. Please try not to take it out on the cashiers. Because you may catch the right or wrong one, depending on how you want to look at it, and you may get an attitude or you just maybe the customer gets snapped on and not saying that this is right now don't get me wrong no nobody should be snapping on anybody but I I get it I have had a few experiences that have made me snap just a little I didn't cuss anybody out per se um, I have had a customer grab me before because I wasn't answering his question fast enough. He walked up to me and I was already helping two other people and I said, give me a second, let me finish them and I'll get with you. So I'm finishing helping the two other people I'm helping and he just grabs me by my shoulder like and squeezes like it hurt and was like, you need to help me right now. <laughs> okay, that didn't end well. Uh, I'll spare you the lovely details but it ended with me telling him he can go find whatever he's looking for by his damn self. And he said he thought he could find it, and that's how that ended. Um, don't put your hands on people. Not just in retail, just in general, because <sighs> that's some people's hot button that'll get you dragged across the floor. Um, I've had people be extremely rude. Man came in looking for some brown shirt shoes at like 11 o'clock in the morning and came in the store talking about he needed these shoes by 2 p.m. for a wedding and I needed to help him right now. I explained to him that all the shoes we had over there were all we had. Everything was out or whatever. And he just looks at me, no, you need to help me right now. I said, sir, I do apologize for your poor planning because um, he had explained uh, that they ordered some shoes off Amazon and they had come the day before and they were too little or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Which means you still waited too late because Amazon delivery is pretty fast if you have Prime. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe that was a problem. I don't know. Don't care. Um, but yeah, he had a whole attitude. Like, I'm sorry for your poor planning. And I could go over here and maybe see if there's something behind a box with you. But I'm there's nothing in the back and I'm 
no, there's not gonna be anything else over here besides what's out. And all we have are black shoes. He needs brown shoes. All we have are black shoes. Well, stage and everywhere else is all they had. That's all you got, sir. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the wedding's at two o'clock today, and you're just now coming to the store at 11 o'clock. Y'all just now ordering the shoes off Amazon. And I'm pretty sure you've known about this wedding for a while. And don't have an attitude with me because y'all wait just the last minute. I don't do with me. But just saying, you know, so try not to take your frustrations out on these store associates. Um, because they, they're they not wanting to be there. Do you know how many times someone in retail has to fold the same shirt or the same pair of pants because people come through and rifle through them and just throw them like... I'm not saying you gotta try to fold the stuff back exactly how it was, but at least, you know, fold it up and make it look nice. Don't just throw it up there like you at home. Like, I've seen it. I've seen it done to me. I've seen it done to other people where you just got through folding a whole table of shirts or pants or whatever the case may be, and you turn around and go start folding another table, and 15 minutes later, you turn back around and it doesn't even look like the table has been touched at all. Um, like, yeah. I've only worked one Black Friday in my entire life, and that was enough to let me know I don't need to work another Black Friday ever again. Y'all are crazy on Black Friday. This is odd. And that's why I don't go Black Friday shopping. Because... First of all, I had to leave my family Thanksgiving night at 5 p.m. to be at work, to work 5 to 11 on Thanksgiving night to work on Black Friday, or the start of Black Friday, or Black Thursday, or whatever the hell it is. But, and then, the one thing that associates hate is, during the holidays, especially on Thanksgiving night, you come and say, oh, I hate you guys have to work. If you wouldn't come in the store on Thanksgiving, nobody would have to work at all. Okay? But whatever. It's become the culture now to go Black Friday shopping and get the good deals for Christmas and all that good stuff. I don't participate in Black Friday. Unless it's for Beauty by McCall, because we will always bring you a Black Friday stuff. But no, I'm not going Black Friday shopping, and no, I will not work retail during Black Friday. Oh, um, no, that is ridiculous, ridiculous. But in the, the dressing room, the dressing room is not your own personal wardrobe closet. Go in the dressing room and try on your clothes. There is a nice little cart, usually in some stores. Some stores may have a store, some stores may not. But there's a nice little cart where you can put your clothes. They even have hangers. You know, if you choose to hang up the item or you can just throw it in the cart. It makes it easier for everybody if you just put it in the cart. No! Customers want to just leave everything on the floor. Just right there on the floor when you could have stepped two feet out the door and there was a cart right there to put all this stuff on. No, you want to put it on the floor. You stepped on it and you rolled it around. Somebody else didn't see it in there, so now they stepped on it because they went in the dressing room immediately after you did. But before the 10 minute shift of somebody to go in and change or check the dressing room, and now there's a big huge mess. Now the poor associate that has to go in and check the fitting room, changing room, fitting room, whatever you like to call it. And it's a mess. So now it takes 20 minutes to pick up all the stuff off the dressing room floor and put it in the cart to go put it back on the shelf. And I know you say that's their job, that's their job, that's what they get paid for. Understandably so. But those people are doing that job because they need that job. And the $8.50 or 
nine dollars an hour that they're getting paid is barely paying the bills but they can't get anything else right now because they have to work and it's hard to find another job when you've got a job especially when your job doesn't want to give you time off to do anything so or if they find out you're trying to leave you into a better job then your hours are cut or they just take you off the schedule altogether and now you're not working at all. And you might not have even got the job you interviewed for. So it's, they get paid, but not enough to deal with the foolishness. It's just, it's not, it's not enough to deal with the foolishness. Um, pants. Oh, pants. Okay. I did a, if you follow me on my snap, I did a mini rant about pants and underwear a couple of weeks ago. So, if you're going to the store to buy pants, you know you're going to try the pants on, but you should try the pants on to make sure they fit before you spend your money. Have freaking underwear on. Nobody wants your crab critters, herp germs, or whatever you got floating around in some jeans they're trying to buy. That's why I strongly advise people when you buy stuff from the store, go ahead and wash it before you wear it just cuts. And it also helps get extra dye off like dark pants and things like that. Um, but you're also hopefully keeping from getting somebody's vagina germs on you. Um, that <laughs> what led to that rant was someone had asked me <laughs> y'all nice young girl. Young, well, I'm not a young girl. She was a young lady. She was old enough to know better. And she asked me, could she go in the fitting room and try on underwear? That was, that look that you guys just saw, that was probably the look that was on my face when she asked me this dumb question. And I looked at her. No oh, ma'am, you cannot go in the fitting room and try on her. I had to tell a grown woman that she can't try on underwear. That is the nastiest thing in the friggin' world. Why? So, that led me to I've never bought underwear that's not in a pack an unopened pack anymore because uh, just because she asked don't mean the other dummies to ask anybody that should probably just go in there and try them on. You should know there's two sizes in your life that you should know. That should pretty much stay the same unless you have a very big increase in weight. Your bra and your underwear. Those are the two things that you should know your sizes. You shouldn't have to try those on. Okay? And underwear, for the most part, is elastic. Bras have hooks to loosen them, so for the most part, you should know those two sizes. Okay? Okay. Men 
don't know how to aim, and women don't know how to put their sanitary items in the trash can. That's just it. But anyway, back to our being a bad customer. No. Sorry. Led off into a whole other rant. We, well, this might turn into a little mini-series type thing, because I say a lot about retail and fast food and working and all that. Um, but the, yes, fitting rooms. Just put stuff in the car. If you're in a really good mood, you can put it back where you got it from. You don't have to fold it up exactly how it was. Put it back. You can put it back. We don't have any manager to put it back. Not at all. But it will upset us if we go to the toy section and find some stiletto stripper heels over there. Well, I say us. I don't work in retail anymore. But it will upset the associates to see us go except the kids department there's women's shoes women's drawers men's underwear all this all this all that stuff has to be taken back to where it came from on the other side of the store and keeping you from fixing up your section it yeah, just it's just like anything in life be courteous just be courteous you don't want anybody you letting people come into your house and they just come in and just destroy it and don't even try to help put it back like yes people get paid to do their job you get paid to do your job and there's a lot of things you probably wish people would do differently if you could tell them you would but just an attitude is the big thing don't have too much now if they get attitude with you then that's different if they got attitude with you they just probably are really upset at their job that day because things happen people who get attitude get upset but they shouldn't transfer it to you just like you shouldn't transfer your attitude to them when you're in the store just be courteous and be nice and yeah next part of the video the next series we're going to talk about all these thieves out here so hope y'all are ready for that one because i have seen A lot of thievery in my life working in fast food and retail and things of that nature so as always beautybarbacolo.com is up and running we have hair available and ready to ship to you and for the holiday season I think we're going to run this to the end of January um, we have 15% off and $2.50 shipping so yay and lashes are coming I had a hold up with lashes I do apologize but we're not even going to go there because I'm going to be a good customer and try to understand but they are coming guys I got you um, what else? What else? I did do my holiday nails. They didn't come out how I wanted them, and my camera was tripping, so I did not get to record it. But, like I said, I do have my practice hand, and I am going to be using that. Um, probably when I get back from my adventure here shortly, I think I'm gonna work on some things on my practice hand with nail forms. I want to try to use nail forms. So, <coughs> yeah. That is what I am trying to do is work on using nail forms. Because I like the dual forms, but I've got to, I've still got to perfect like my thickness and stuff and all that and I think I could do that easier on nail forms versus using the um dual forms but the dual forms are super, super easy though like bomb like so easy it's, I don't know it probably should be against the law or something but yeah it's like super easy but yeah that's what we got going on uh there will be a giveaway in thinking February, Marchish, 
um, it's gonna be a good giveaway. Very, very good giveaway. Stay tuned, you guys. And look for more nail videos, cause I'm so serious about my nails. And I got a very good Christmas present. I hope you guys got good Christmas presents. But I got a really good Christmas present, and I can't wait to show you guys. So I may do a unboxing, even though I've already opened it, but just to show you guys how it works, because it's like amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's with me about 20 minutes of my ride, depending on how I edit down this video. Um, and I still have an hour to go. Gotta love living in Texas. Gotta love it. Because I'm not leaving the state at all. No, I actually have about three or four counties in a two hour and 20 minute round trip. That's Texas for me. You guys learned something about being a good customer in this part one of this. I don't even know if it's going to be our Are You Being a Bad Customer series. It might just be uh, my experiences with the public and retail and fast food. Maybe that'll work out because I've got some stories. Oh gosh, I've got stories. My adventures in customer service. There you go. That's what it's going to be. Y'all are going to hear about my adventures in customer service. That's what it's going to be. So, alright.